Alright guys, got an update for you guys. I got this guy in uh what a day or two ago. V8 LS engine bay polyurethane for drift body. So I'm gonna do it on this guy. I'm gonna cut the hood out and make it open and close with magnets that hold it or something like that. Um Here's the engine bay tub or compartment, whatever you want to call it. it has a, of course, it's a Chevy LS V8 motor. It's pretty detailed. I mean, it's got the strut towers, battery strap, reservoirs, hose, even a radiator cap, fan shroud, cooler intake, uh, alternator, the belt right there. Um, it has a brake booster it's on the wrong side but it's supposed to be on that side but it'll still at least it has it here's the valve covers and then here is a oil cooler right there I'm gonna put on the front bumper probably put it like somewhere here or here on it um, this one's for the drift car as you can see it oh there we go I'll zoom out It'll fit perfectly right underneath the hood of that. And then, this second one I have right here, still in the package, will be for my crawler for the Hilux. I'm going to do a Hilux small block LS. And I'm going to make this hood open and close too as well. Um, if I would have known about those engine bays, I would have left the hood clear and just glued it inside underneath the hood and you can still see it through the hood without having to have it open but um, I'm still gonna do it that way because it's already painted so I gotta cut the hood open on this guy and somehow fill those in or something or leave them I guess and uh, make side mounts to mount the body on the crawler um, and then I have something else as well here's my new racing belt drive 4x4 factory team associated truck that I got today the one I told you guys a couple videos back that what I was getting uh, it's a 5.5 turn motor really really fast really fast truck I mean this thing is just ridiculous um, RX-8 speed controller and, uh, and then what is this? The Thunder Power Racing Motor. Uh, dang the lights! There we go. If I do it, there we go. Thunder Power Brushless Motor. Um, all set up with one of my uh, LRP 5200 lipos, 2S lipo. Uh, it's a what is it? A 50 C rated battery, I believe. I'm having a hard time getting this battery out of here. Gosh, or does it lock in? Yeah, see, it's so I'm so new to this truck, guys. I don't even know how the heck to take the battery out because he put it in there for me and I didn't. <laughs> so I think it got wedged in on that wire right there. Oh well, well it's a 52. 102S LiPo, I think it's like a 50, no, 80C rating, so it's a real high output voltage uh, battery for this racing truck, a racing battery, so adjustable uh, coilovers or shocks, whatever you want to call them, but uh, it's a factory team associated belt driven 4x4 truck trophy truck or off-road truck I don't know what the technical term would be for it but, uh, there it is I got it for five five hundred bucks all set up I just gotta put the radio and receiver on it and it's ready to rock and roll and then a, a transponder I believe is what it's called for the racing to know what position and your time that you run on the track uh, so here we go, here's a new page of uh, taking another step of
competi competition racing, I guess you could say. Sorry guys, I'm really tired. Been working 12s all past two weeks straight, no days off. So, there you go guys. There's the update for the drift car, my new truck, and for the crawler. I uh, have another huge surprise coming as soon as it comes in. Um, still waiting the stuff on that. So, remember guys, pound that like button, subscribe button, comment, ask me anything about your stuff you need help with, my stuff, whatever crosses your mind, I'll help you the best I can. Alright, till next time guys.